Hi guys, Bria here. And I'm really excited today because I get to share with you guys a requested video. One of my subscribers hopped in my comment section and asked me, how do I work from home, work on my laptop, um, get Wi-Fi signal while living in the car? So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna try and keep it short and simple for you all, but hopefully this information helps someone. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so first things foremost, I start my workday on a full battery on my laptop. So whenever I get ready to start my workday, my laptop is already completely charged up. You definitely wanna check on your device's battery life. So my work laptop that I use is a really good laptop. It has a really good battery life. Um, it's advertised that it can last around eight to nine hours on a full charge. But as we all know, for anyone who uses electronics, your devices are going to die if you're using them more often. So what I've seen in my experience is that instead of my laptop lasting eight to nine hours on a full charge, which obviously would be a full nine to five workday if that were the case, it actually more so lasts around like, mm, I would say between three to five hours, depending on the workload. Um, once I hit around three, four hour mark, um, I start to get that notification that, hey, you need to charge your device. Hey, it's getting low, charge your laptop, plug me in. So that's when I decide like, okay, now we have to consider what we're gonna do to get this baby charged back up so we can keep working, right? So I know most of you really wanna hear about Wi-Fi, right? Like how do I connect to Wi-Fi, how do I have signal if I'm living in the car and also if I drive around to different places, right? And I'm not indoors. So I have a Verizon wireless phone plan. And when I got my phone plan set up, I advised them that I needed the strongest hotspot capability that they offered. So if you have a service plan, um, you have an amount of data on your phone that you can use to stream, surf the internet, do different things like that. When it comes to the hotspot, that basically acts as your Wi-Fi connection. They give you a certain amount of gigabytes, I believe. I'd have to go back and look into my phone settings, but I basically told them, like, give me the most I can get because it's not unlimited. But it gives you a certain amount of data specifically for hotspot. I can turn that hotspot on, turn that on and connect my laptop to it, connect my tablet, um, connect any device that runs off of Wi-Fi. So, Long story short, I basically utilize my cell phone as my Wi-Fi modem. So it's something to consider um, with your phone plan. There's definitely a lot of other options. And trust me, when I was getting ready to start this lifestyle, I went over so many videos trying to figure out how to make it work because I was already working from home when I lived in my apartment. Some people have portable modems. Some people have USB devices that connect directly to your laptop and provide you with um, a signal. Um, there's definitely different ways to do it. There's definitely more expensive ways to do it. However, in my opinion, if you're just working from home on a laptop type situation, working from your car, um, it works just fine with your hotspot on your phone, especially if you have a pretty decent um, phone plan that gives you a good amount of data on it. You can run out of hotspot data and that's when you need to call your phone plan and see what's going on, or you might need to consider additional options for Wi-Fi coverage. But in my experience, it hasn't been an issue. Um, I haven't run out of data yet, but I will say that I often tether my Wi-Fi when I can. So for those of you who follow this channel, you know that I live in my car and I actually park on, you know, a private property in a parking spot at someone's home. So I have access to their carport, which has plugins. Um, and it also is close enough to my vehicle that sometimes I'm able to pull their Wi-Fi signal into my car. It's not as great. Utilizing my hotspot actually works much better. Please ignore my janky window coverings, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how I recharge my devices finally. So, some of you may know, but I have a Jackery battery and 
the jackery battery is like my best friend at this point like i love it i use it every day it's so amazing it's able to be recharged um so yeah that is my powerhouse in this car is my jackery battery and i'll show you guys really quick it's currently propping up my fan because it's warm in georgia y'all i don't know what's going on but i'm hot my window coverings are falling off it's a hot mess but here's my jackery y'all beautiful clean orange my favorite color orange and black like come on you gotta love it i got the three prongs so i can plug in my laptop it gives you two usbs and also a dc port so it gets the job done it does everything that i need it to do some people have a bigger version of this jackery um one that has more power uh, ports on it or whatnot but i found that with this one it works just fine for me. i'm sorry i'm trying to put it back down it's like really heavy though not gonna lie there are other options that you can get online that can give you additional power obviously the bigger battery you get the more power it's gonna hold the more you know ports it's gonna have for you to plug stuff in just keep in mind weight this one is like the perfect weight it's not too heavy can you guys see my cat she's on top of my car that's like She's outside and she is hopping on top of the car. I can hear her like running on top of the roof of the car. Um, but anyway, back to the Jackery. So yeah, get you one. I got me one on Amazon. I paid like just over $200 for it. So it wasn't a bad price. Um, the only time that I've noticed my Jackery die, because it rarely dies and they recommend you not to let it die. But the only time I noticed it die is when it got really cold and I had to plug in my heated blanket and it pretty much drained the entire battery over like a course of maybe six hours of sleeping. So that is the only time I've had it drain. Plugging in my phone, my laptop, like my light, everything that I use has never been enough wattage or whatever I guess to drain it so you have to be using something that's really going to be pulling a lot of energy to drain it and you know just be mindful of recharging it and having a place to go recharge it if you're going to be using it consistently. Charge it driving in the car you're also able to recharge it um, plugging it in so I will show you guys that as well So that's all for now folks i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this information was useful to someone out there and of course if you enjoyed the video make sure you slap that like button and if you're not already subscribed to this channel and you're enjoying this content i'd love to have you but yeah hit me up in the comment section guys let me know if this information was useful also let me know if you are one living in your car two working remotely three what do you do for your wi-fi if it's not a phone hotspot um what other options are there out there for nomads to make sure they stay connected and until next time y'all peace